Welcome back to part two of Amnesia the Bunker. Last time we, let's say we, I ended up finding a fair amount of fuel. We've got about four minutes left in the generator. I actually need to use these bandages because apparently whatever this creature is can see the blood trail and is stupid enough to, well, I say stupid, stupidly smart enough to actually follow them. Which is not overly compassing, but um, we have to make do. I also found a bottle in one of the soldiers' quarters. Okay, that's not a dead end. Well, that is a dead end, but... Tremblay's death, the bunker descended into chaos. I've retaken control and ordered the man to bomb up in squads. But to hunt the beast down and kill it. They tell me it's not possible, they tell me the bullets don't kill it, they only buy a little time, and the beast comes back angrier. Cowards, I've set them back out now to do as they should. Hunt and kill. If they fail, they'll face a fate worse fate than wars in the darkness. Somehow I'm not so sure about that. Ordered to increase security for the arsenal, lock and code, and I will reserve those responsible for this horrendous act. Just as will be done. Oh, why is there a door? Okay. Single second. That might be what happened. the trap. I'm just wondering how I'm meant to get past that, if I can. Do I throw the bottle? Because I could see more generator fuel on the other side, but... So what if I throw the bottle at it? Let it go off and then hide here. I'm gonna run back to the office and save. And then I'm just gonna try running faster. This is not the office. It's here. I'll just take this in case I desperately need it. God, it's down that way, isn't it? So as long as I stay quiet, I think I should be okay. Or in other words, I need to just run past. <laughs>
wasn't that dumb of a little, right? I need a minute to look at the map. Okay, so strategic operations are both in there. Can't open Reynard's door. Warner's was seemingly a death sentence. That place I saw was the wine cellar. Medical storage. I don't think I've actually really been in the doctor's office yet, so I should probably check there. But it is definitely telling me that the mission storage is where I need to go. Oh wait, this was the doctor's office. generator. Kitchen was where the dude died. Sick rooms where I woke up. How am I meant to get into mission storage without a gas mask? Or is mission storage a bit more clear of gas now? Yes, it is. God damn it, I just had to be fucking patient. Not exactly something I want to do. Ninth of July. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged, as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. Do they know what I've done? D do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. What have you done? Mitch Clemens. All the bullets. Right, so what codes do I have? J. Delise. Jesus, this thing is horrific. J. Delise. And code was 6579. Hey, would you look at that? 6579. 
576. How did I misread that? What is this? Okay, presumably breaking and entering. A Lambert shotgun shells. Another pocket bag. nothing else in here. I'm imagining this is probably a place I'm meant to come back to many times, considering the amount of lockers in here. In we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's meant to work like that. the emergency lockdown. That's fucking horrible. I can actually hear, like, it moving through the walls as if it was, like, a dynamic object. So the lockdown is off. I can now get to the officer quarters, which then leads to the arsenal, straight down to the left. I like to move this box up. I save. Beyond this point, I have absolutely no knowledge of the game. And assuming that was a loading zone, hence why the leg spike. Ooh, I don't like that. Two tunnels. This place is covered in traps. It's also very dark down here. So I need bolt cutters. Bolt cutters? What do they call? I don't actually know. Never actually had to use them. Wait. Time to run, time to run. I do not count that as surviving a fucking encounter. <laughs> Though it is quite nice to know you can actually get back here quite quickly. <laughs> Okay. 
actually quite surprised my heart rate's not high. <laughs> Definitely do not feel too great. I'm guessing I need to go up to the left now. I can jump. I am so stupid. <laughs> Took me that long to realize I can fucking jump over the wires. Explosive storage. Communications room and soldiers' quarters. I'm assuming that's the communications room. Be back. Oh, yes, yes, more fuel. <laughs> Say, let's go run back, chuck this in the generator, grab the other canister, also chuck that in the generator, and then we can try and continue. Maybe by blowing up the door. We are making solid progress. Seem to contain more, right? How many grenades do I have? I have two. I'll put the player back away because I don't need that. At least as far as I point out. I don't really know what use it has yet. It's beginning to have like a bit more of an actual like Onisha the Dark Descent feel to it now. Now that I actually have like an idea of what's going on. Or like what I'm meant to be doing at least. Is there actually anything else in there? I could see some cloth. But not actually a whole lot else. And I think I also would destroy that light. Shoot the handle? Break the door? Let's go ahead with two grenades. And to be honest, I really don't want to spend long navigating. It did not break the light.
Fuck me. Okay, it can come out in the light. It can come out in the light. It just isn't very opportunistic. Oh, okay. Jesus, so <laughs> That thing is ugly. I guess that... Is that another grenade? A gas grenade? I guess what I have for that. This sub-map has been added to the main map. Nice. Yes, okay, so that... I would say that was worth the risk. <laughs> Let's go jump this other fuel like yeah. So explosives will draw it out, even when the lights are on. But I'm guessing it will just be more attracted to general sounds when the lights are off. To the tunnels. Okay, so that's probably where the monster even came from. Explosive storage is where I can get the stuff that I need to actually escape from. Let's pour this in. Oh, that didn't seem to be as much. I don't tell me this is- No! I've got to select the bucket barrels in like the first game, where it's actually changing how much it gives you, based on like how much, how well you're doing. Yeah, I can see that actually goes down quite quickly. Oh, that actually looks like something. Okay, so, got the extra flare away, don't need that. Don't need the bandages, but possibly will. Okay, let's continue. Somehow. Actually, wait, before I do, let's take a closer look at that map. Okay, so we're coming through there. Lurk's office is where I just was. And the bolted off doors are there. In the middle. Storage area goes to the tunnels. The explosive storage, that is bolted off. Is it bolted off? No, that one's got a key code on it. But I did get a code. F out there. If I head back to... Where are the rooms again? Perhaps that room with the box in was... Mission storage. Or is this just another one? I can do that door. Okay. And 
I'm going to see a one. G. Travis, 2096. Two grenades. Lovely. It's it telling me where it's moving around. Okay, I'll save that for one minute. Let's just see. Feeling that the prison might be a very dangerous area. <laughs> if it's anything like the prison from the dark descent. Now that I know that the light is not complete safety, I am all of a sudden a lot more terrified. <laughs> well, on that note, I think I am going to leave this one here. Thank you for joining me once again. I may get around to the terminus again at some point, but now that I know the light is not completely safe, I hate to see but more, and I'm nearly out of fuel. So. I'll speak to you all next time. Goodbye.